binary logistic regression binary logistic regression is used in various fields mostly in medical sciences and social sciences actually it is a statistical technique used in research design analyzing the relationship of an outcome or dependent variable to one or more predictors or independent variables when the dependent variable is either a dichotomous having only two categories here is a situation in which a researcher visits the laptop market where he collects information about the purchase of laptop the purchase of laptop has been extraordinarily increased a researcher wants to predict about he or she will purchase or not purchase the laptop considering the level of income and age of the customer in this case age and income are the independent variable metric variable while purchase or not purchase the laptop are the is the dependent variable researcher analyzes the collected data through spss here is the data view of spss for calculating binary logistic regression click analyze regression binary logistic regression purchase intention goes to the dependent box income and age goes to the shift to covariate and here you will press the button option in option you will select hosmer and neem show ci for exponent b press the button continue press the button okay get output in output summary case processing summary 40 cases are included in the analysis there is no missing case dependent variable in encoding not purchase zero and purchase is coded with one in this case the reference category is coded with zero which means not purchasing the laptop otherwise the probability of purchasing the laptop is one this is the beginning block zero block it means null model no variables are entered in the equation Mo moving forward this is the block one variables enter in the equation and omnibus test of model coefficient indicate significant value and this is good it means uh, this is good model model summary here look at the value of cox and snell r square neglect karke r square value these two these values must exceed 0.5 and in this case both values are exceeding 0.5 and neglect karke r square value indicate 80.9% change in the criterion variable can be explained by the predictor variable now the hosmer and neem show this should be non significant and in this case this is non significant and explain the expected and frequency expected model and observed model no difference in the observed model and the expected model now the contingency table for hosmer and neem show this indicate almost observed values and expected values are the same observed values and expected values here and classification table this table indicate this is purchase intention category in purchase intention category two values are misclassified and purchase category two values are misclassified and it explains almost 90% of cases overall and variables in the equation in variable in the equation look at the value of exponent b exponential beta value if the value here in case of income and age both value are one if the exponential value of 1 of beta is greater than 1 it will indicate the probability of purchasing the laptop is greater if the exponent of beta is lesser than 1 the probability of purchasing the laptop is lesser in case of income the 95% confidence interval indicate chance of buying the laptop is greater but the case of age there are less than 95% chance of buying the laptop this is the output tables and this is the case summary
this is the dependent variable encoding this is the omnibus test of model coefficient and this is the hosmer and leem show test and this is the contingency table of hosmer hosmer and leem show test almost observed and expected values are same model summary model summary explains 18.9% r square change in the criterion variable can be explained in the predicted variable actually this is the pseudo r square value negli karke r square value but it uh, gives the prediction and this is the classification table and this classification table correctly classified 95 90% of cases overall and this is the table of variables in the equation probability of purchasing laptop is greater with respect to income and age but this probability with reference to income is significant and age is non significant the researcher concludes that the income is the most important factor that have the influence on the decision making of purchasing the laptop hope you will understand how to enter data in spss for analyzing binary logistic regression thank you for